It hatches. Watch if I just wave. All the spikes go right through. You say, watch, take the ashes. Such a weird optical illusion. And you can make it balance just like that. What's good? Welcome back to How To Magic. Oh, magic! I am your host, Evan Era. Today I'm showing you 10 impossible magic tricks that you can do. Inconceivable. So if you're ready, hit that thumbs up button and let's go. Okay, this is an amazing body trick that you can do at home. Follow along with me. You're gonna hold up both hands like this and extend them right out in front of you, like a zombie. Ooh. You're then gonna put both fingers straight out like this. And now you wanna focus your vision beyond your fingers. Like find a spot on the wall in front of you and focus there, not on your hands. You're then gonna turn your fingers in like this, and slowly bring them together to where the tips of your fingers almost touch. Now if you do it right, you should see a magic floating third finger appear right between your two fingers. Isn't that crazy? So weird. This is called the magic floating finger sausage illusion, also known as the Frankfurter illusion. Such a weird optical illusion. It really looks like there's a floating finger right there. Now the reason this illusion works is because we have binocular vision. We have two eyes. And because of where our eyes are positioned, meaning they're slightly apart from each other, each eye gets a slightly different view of what's in front of them. And then our brains take the information from both eye and it kind of stitches it together, almost like a 360 camera with multiple lenses, and it stitches those shots together to form one composited image. But here's the crazy thing. The eye doesn't actually see this center point right here where your fingers are meeting. It's kind of imaginary. Your brain stitches the two images together. That is why it creates the third finger effect called a cyclopean image and this phenomenon is called retinal disparity. And that seems like a complicated explanation but it's actually one of the most simple and easily understood body tricks. But stay tuned for later in this video you're going to learn an even crazier body trick that even baffles scientists today. Okay this is a new one it's a classic but it's a new trick that we have available on the shop. So we've got the little spikes right here little plastic spikes. You've got the little plastic coin. Okay you inspected that and we've also got this little plastic case. You can check that out too. All right hand me the coin perfect so we're gonna take the little plastic coin open the case up it's gonna go right down inside there okay okay and we're gonna take this and we're gonna close up the case just like that hold that for me perfect now we're gonna take one of these spikes just like this mm -hmm. now look it's gonna go right down through uh -huh. just like that and we're gonna continue that process and keep putting these spikes right down through that coin. Just like that. They Gosh. keep going through every hole. How, how does it go through that? That's not possible. One more. And just like that, all the spikes go right through the coin. Check that out. That's so cool. You can actually pull the little spikes out. Go ahead. Go ahead, pull the rest of your mouth. Oh my gosh. Now look, you can open the container. There's no holes in the coin. Check How it is out. the coin perfectly fine? How is that possible? Magic. This is such an easy trick. Anyone can do this. It's totally self-working. It comes with everything you need. It's a classic effect. It comes with this little plastic coin, and it also comes with the chamber. This is the magic chamber that you insert the coin into, just like this, and then you close it up. And it also comes with the eight spikes. So all you have to do to make this work is insert this spike into this hole, one of the outside holes first. And what that's gonna do is cause the coin to flip up inside. I'm gonna lift up the lid and show you this. You can see the coin has flipped up on its side inside there. The coin will now allow all these spikes to pass through. Let's see if we can make that happen with the lid off. The spike comes down and it's just tilting that coin up just like that. So now all the other spikes have room to pass right through as you can see. And the coin is able to just hug that side wall just like that. Now you can remove the spikes. The coin will naturally fall back into place. And you can open up the container and show it off to your audience. They can inspect everything. There's no 
secrets to uncover. It's the perfect illusion for a beginner because it's totally self-working. It's so easy that anyone can do this, and it's a trick that every magician should have. This is an absolute classic. Stay tuned for the end of the video if you want to win this trick in the giveaway, or head over to EvanEraTV.com and pick one up today. Got one of our Laugh at Life pencils in my hand. Watch, if I just let go with my hand like this, it looks like the pencil is just stuck to my hand. Now, you might have seen this trick before, so I have to let go with this hand, too. And this one. It looks like it just floats. I'll teach you the secret right now. Okay, here is the secret to the magic floating pencil trick. This is done with a broken loop. It's a piece of invisible thread that allows you to do amazing magic tricks. We have them available at EvanEraTV.com. Now, if you've ever used loops before, you know that they sometimes do break no matter how careful you are. Now, this is a great use of a broken loop. You can create this illusion of the pencil floating. You can do this classic trick where you make it look like the pencil is stuck to your hand. Most magicians know this trick where you just hold the pencil with your finger. So this is a cool way to flip that on its head where you you do that trick and then you move this hand away move this hand away and it's just going to continue to float now the hookup for this thread is you're just going to tape it around the top of the pencil here we have our thread anchored you're just going to tape that in place on the ceiling it's going to run right down here to the top of the pencil and you're just going to find its balance point right there and just let it float now you can have this in place in the house before your performance before you show it to the audience you can present it like this in your hand and just say watch watch the pencil if i just let go it looks like it floats and then you can kind of do this wave over top where you move your hand over top but you're moving it just behind where the thread is so it looks like it's creating this really convincing illusion of waving over top kind of do circular motions like this and even like do this number create the circle with your hands you can do like a hand-to-hand -hand floating transfer watch the pencil go from here to here a lot of different cool things you can do with a broken loop head over to evanerratv.com and pick some up today if you want to perform amazing tricks like this or stay tuned for the end of this video i'm going to give away some laugh at life pencils and some loops so that you can perform this trick at home. This is a classic magic trick. We have all the makings of a fun coloring activity. We've got a coloring book, we've got some crayons. Now check it out. The coloring book is magic themed. It's got a magician, it's got a little magic show going on here, the linking rings, some bunnies and a top hat, but you can see they're not yet colored in. So we're going to take the crayons and see if we can do some magic. So watch the box of crayons. Nothing in my hand. Watch if I just wave over top. Look, inside the coloring book, now every drawing is now colored in. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal the secret to this trick is extremely simple and I'll teach you how it's done right now. This trick consists of two parts, the box of crayons, which has been prepared. You're gonna cut a set of crayons in half so that they show in the window of the crayon box like this. And then when you let go with your fingers and let off that pressure, gravity is just gonna let them slip down inside. Looks like they just vanish as you wave your hand over. Combine that with the magic coloring book, which we have available at evaneratv.com. All you do is flip from this corner and it shows the coloring book not colored in. Then all you have to do is flip from the middle and now it will show the pages completely colored. And then flip from the bottom corner to make them all turn blank for an extra added effect. Stay tuned for the end of the video if you want to win either of these items, I'm giving them away to one lucky viewer. a warning be careful if you're a kid you probably want an adult's help with this this is not something that you should do by yourself so here is how you pull off this amazing trick at home this is how you create a magic shower of sparks all you need is a lighter or matches some rope and some steel wool and you want to make sure you get the super fine grade of steel wool you don't want the thicker stuff because it will not light so you're gonna unpack some of your steel wool and you just want to unravel this once you have the steel wool unfolded like this, you're going to take a length of rope and you're going to tie it around one of the ends of the steel wool. Gonna kind of bunch it up like this and tie a tight knot. Now your last step is to wait until it's dark outside, light the end of the steel wool with the lighter or the matches, and then hold the string or rope by the other end and swing it around to create a magical display of showering sparks. So this steel wool is actually metal that shaves so thin it's flammable. But I must warn you to magic at your own risk. Anytime you're working 
working with flammable materials of any kind, there is the possibility of getting burned. So be very careful, have fun, try it out, and let the sparks fly. Okay, but I have a really cool trick to show you with my little UFO here. So check it out. There's nothing inside it, mm -hmm. you can see. Now watch, if I put the lid on just like this and I shake it, you can hear something appears. Inside the dish, it's a little egg. Now watch, we can take this a step further. If I take the egg like this mm -hmm. and I put the UFO back together and I just wave over it, look. It hatches into a little chick. And of course, if you want to, you can take the chick and turn it back into an egg. This is very simple. This is actually a new trick that we have available at EvanerraTV.com. It's like the UFO dice, but it's called the Magic Hatchery. It comes with the little egg, it comes with the little dish, and the secret is all found in the chicken. If you look on the bottom of the little chick dish, it is hollowed out. So it comes with three dishes. You're gonna start out with the egg in this dish. The little chicken is gonna be hidden under this dish. So now this shell will fit right over top of the egg as we drop it on and just lift the top dish. All the magic is done for you. It's totally self-working. All you got to do is just drop that on and it looks like the egg is just magically hatched into a little chicken. Stay tuned for the end of the video if you want to win the magic hatchery trick. We do have a very limited quantity of these available. Head over to EvanerraTV.com and pick one up today. All right, so this is another one of those tricks that kind of messes with your senses. You saw the uh, Frankfurter illusion where the little sausage finger appears, right? Mm -hmm. Weird, right? So this is one that messes with your sense of touch instead of your sense of sight. So you need a blindfold. We've got a Laugh at life blindfold here. So the trick is you blindfold the person. You see anything? No. Perfect, so we wanna cut off the person's sense of sight. We're going to manipulate their sense of touch. Take one hand, either one you want, and you're going to touch the tip of your nose. You're just gently rubbing it, okay? And now with the other hand, you're gonna reach forward and do this, <laughs> do the same thing to the tip of my nose like that. It's gonna happen, it's gonna start to feel like your nose is super long, like it's just growing longer and longer. Really? Whoa, weird. That's so strange. Okay, check it out. I have a deck of cards here. So I'm gonna open them up and say stop whenever you want. Stop. Take a look at the card. Okay, got it. Put it back in the deck. You remember the card, correct? Yeah. Before the trick started, I made a prediction about what card I thought you would stop on. I have it written right here on the card box, on this little note. See if I'm right. Queen of Hearts. There you go. Mm -mm. No? No. It wasn't? Huh. I'll get rid of that prediction because it wasn't right. And we're gonna we're gonna do something else. I'll get rid of this prediction here. We're just gonna get rid of the prediction. Queen of Hearts wasn't right, right? Yeah. You still remember the card, right? I take these ashes, look at my arm right here, you remember your card? I just rub it. Okay, here's what you need to pull off this impossible magic trick. You're going to need some lip balm, some chapstick. And the preparation is gonna occur before your performance starts, before you ever show this to your audience. You're gonna take whatever card you're gonna force on your spectator, in my case it was the Eight of Clubs, and you're just gonna draw that on your arm using the chapstick. Just take the lip balm, trace the outline of the card. And because of the nature of the balm, it won't show up on your skin. Be completely invisible until the ashes touch your arm and it sticks to that part of the skin. So we've got it drawn on our arm. That's the entire preparation for the trick. Now all you have to do is force this card on them. Have a prediction written on a piece of paper that's actually incorrect. When you get this wrong to get rid of the evidence of your mistake, you're going to burn the paper. 
Obviously you want to be careful with this. Have a dish nearby that you can set it in and let it burn completely out. There are no embers. It is nothing but ash. You want to really make sure that's all the way burned out. And you can drag this out as long as you need. All the while this is still on your arm, invisible to the spectator. You're not going to call attention to it at all. So now we've incinerated our incorrect prediction and we're going to take the ashes and use them to do the magic. The beautiful thing about this trick, at this point it's self-working. All you have to do is rub the ashes on your arm. They will stick to the chapstick and it instantly reveals their card in such a crazy unexpected way. You say watch, take the ashes. Is that your card? And the ash only really sticks to the places where you put the chapstick. And it just creates this perfect organic image of a card appearing on your arm, so amazing. And then for cleanup, all you have to do is wash this off with soap and water. All right guys, that is it. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button and share it with somebody you think might like it as well. Hitting that thumbs up really helps the YouTube algorithm. It helps more people see the video, helps our channel gain more subscribers, and helps us spread the magic around the world. So if you take the time to hit the thumbs up, share it on your Facebook, your Twitter, your YouTube page, I would really appreciate it. Also, be sure to head over to EvanEraTV.com. That is our online magic shop. We have a lot of really cool merch, laugh at life gear, and amazing magic tricks that anyone can do. Some really impossible stuff that will blow people's minds. The link for that is in the description of this video at EvanEraTV.com. You can get the magic coloring book, laugh at life pencils, prisms, the spike coins, all of that stuff is available now. If you have a Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or Twitter, follow me on all of those platforms as well. Links are in the description. And it is giveaway time. I'm giving away all the magic props from this video. So if you want to win any of the tricks that you saw in this video, leave a comment in the comment section down below. All you have to do is let me know which trick was your favorite from this video. Leave it in the comment section down below and be sure to give the video a thumbs up. I'll be going through the comment section and picking 10 random winners and mailing out the magic to you so you can perform these tricks at home. It's time to announce the giveaway winners from our last how-to magic video. The winners are magically appearing on the screen right here. Congratulations to our winners. Be sure to send your full mailing address to this email address on the screen to claim your prize. Thank you to everyone who entered that giveaway drawing and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway drawing. Be sure to hit the thumbs up and leave your comments down below. I read them all. We've had hundreds of entries for our first ever Magic at Home contest and the winners will be announced soon. Stay tuned for that video coming next week. Until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.